Becoming a researcher, whether a scientist, a scholar, or an artist, is following a passion for truth, beauty, reality, or the natural world. But when behaviors arise that counter these passions, they can be detrimental to the advancement of knowledge. In fact, wrongdoing threatens the validity of science. Misconduct can cause the public to mistrust research and truth, and it demeans your noble goal of generating knowledge. Researchers bear a responsibility to behave ethically and to report unethical behavior. Unethical behaviors are grouped into a category called research misconduct, which is defined by specific actions. The U.S. Office of Science and Technology Policy defines misconduct as fabrication, falsification, and plagiarism in proposing, performing, or reviewing research, or in reporting research results, a definition that has been adopted by most federal agencies. Some institutions define research misconduct more broadly and include other specific actions. Other forms of research misconduct include abuse of confidentiality in peer review, failure to allocate proper credit in authorship, not observing regulations governing research, failure to report misconduct, retaliation against whistleblowers, and any behaviors that seriously deviate from commonly accepted research practices. The bottom line when it comes to research misconduct is that it must be intentional and deceptive, violate standards and reliable practices, and undermine basic human values and the public trust. All institutions that receive federal funding, including UNM, must have a process for reporting and investigating research misconduct. We follow UNM Policy E40, which details assessment of allegation, inquiry, and investigation processes. Official reporting of research misconduct at UNM can be made to the Office of Research and Compliance, a division of the Office of the Vice President for Research. Once the office receives a specific claim of misconduct, research officers must proceed with the assessment as outlined in Policy E40. You can also report research misconduct by sending an email to rcgeneral at unm.edu, anonymously reporting using UNM's Ethics Point portal, or by calling the UNM hotline, which provides a risk-free way to anonymously report suspicions of fraud, misconduct, or retaliation. To anonymously report, simply block your phone number before calling. If you're considering a claim of research misconduct, you can discuss your concerns hypothetically with the Director of Academic Integrity and Research Ethics. This will not begin an official investigation process, but provides additional support if needed. Be sure to make any claim of misconduct professionally and with the understanding that there are protections for the person who files the complaint. However, be aware that reprisals against whistleblowers can still occur in ways that are hard to enforce. When reporting research misconduct, try to gather irrefutable evidence, such as a figure before it was manipulated along with the manipulated figure, email correspondence, or original lab notes along with backup copies. It is also helpful to have a trusted person corroborate evidence. Once a claim of research misconduct is made, a committee is formed to determine if misconduct has actually occurred. Evidence is collected and sequestered, which could include items such as hard drives, data sheets, photos, and interviews. If the committee determines that research misconduct has occurred, the respondent is notified and has an opportunity to appeal any decision. Once the case is settled, the decision may go to the funding agency, the Office of the Inspector General, or the Office of Research Integrity. All decisions are reviewed. Every institution that receives federal money, including UNM, must report misconduct cases to these federal offices on an annual basis. But what happens to researchers found to have committed research misconduct? Consequences may include lost time, damaged reputations, feelings of personal betrayal, negative consequences for all of science, loss of funding, and loss of the ability to train graduate students. To explore real-life examples of research misconduct, including accusations, evidence, and consequences, you can visit the website for the Office of Research Integrity. We know reporting is not easy. We know reprisals against whistleblowers occur. And we know anonymity is difficult. Even so, researchers have the unmistakable obligation to act. 
One of the best ways to counter research misconduct is to engage in research ethics education. You can learn about courses, workshops, and other educational opportunities through the AIR and PAW websites. You can also send an email to airunm at unm.edu to learn how you can support research ethics and avoid research misconduct. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your continued support of research excellence here at UNM.